Oh, that's not. <laughs> I wanted it to go. Let's try that again. All right, yo, we're back. Another video. We got a Scarlet and Violet booster box this time. I just finished opening up the Scarlet and Violet ETBs. 18 packs. Fairly disappointing um, finish, really. Uh, it was pretty cool opening it though. You know, you got the nice promo cards. The the actual ETB itself was pretty nice to uh, to look at as well. But in terms of pull rates and cards that I got, there wasn't really anything I needed or got that I wanted. So hopefully the this booster pack or this booster box is able to redeem itself because 18 packs and roughly like four or five hits. It's pretty disappointing, I'll be honest. So. This time, got a whole booster box. I haven't opened up one of these in actually quite some time. Uh, I think December I opened up a Lost Origins, and um, it's March now, almost April, so it's been quite some time. Pretty exciting. We got double the amount of packs to open compared to last video, so hopefully we can get something good. Um, I talked about chase cards um, early last video, but really couldn't get into it. But in reality, that's just like, I don't know, just literally anything other than the uh, the ETB pulls, just literally anything better, and I'd be happy because pretty disappointing, I'll be honest. Um, hopefully we can get a better start to this, you know? White code cards, one to the front. The packs in this booster box feel a little bit different. They they feel like better to open, I, th I think. So maybe that's a good, uh, that's a good thing. And um, first pack magic, let's go real quick. If you share, Coach Cruel, Curlia. Zangoose? Okay. So, no first pack magic with that. One pack down. Let's keep it going. But yeah, last video I briefly touched upon me getting back into the card, not me getting back into it, but me getting more into the actual card game. And just in general, like following the competitive meta and just reading about everything, trying to learn a new game. I think that's one of the best parts about playing, you know, I grew up playing a lot of shooters um, and considering this is like more strategy inclined and everything around that, I think it makes it a lot more enjoyable. It's a completely different outlook on a game. So just playing that and learning everything has only been pretty fun. All right, under the pack. Maybe, maybe these white code cards are a curse. If we just went back to, you know, the regular rotation between white, green and black, Things would have been better. I think that's the the curse in this set for me at least. Wow, nothing, literally nothing. I will say though, considering this is a different video, what the oh, considering this is a different video, I'm like, why is this guy already so pissed? He's three packs in into an entire 36 booster pack. I'm filming this right after I opened up the ETBs, and when you pull 18 packs of pretty much nothing. It, uh, it kind of stings you a little bit when you don't get a hit in a pack. I can't open this fucking booster. So, when, you know, it's continuously not getting any hits, it's pretty it's pretty sad, not gonna lie. I really hope so something, can, something can be done about this because this is not gonna make me want to open any more cards in the future. And I really don't want that to happen. Okay, we got an EX hit, can't complain. Not the EX I pretty much, not the EX I really wanted, but we will take it. I did pull this in the Japanese booster box as well. And in terms of playable cards, I don't think this is gonna be anything too crazy. Um, yeah, he's not, you know, doesn't do any massive amounts of damage. Abilities somewhat okay. Well, what can you do? First hit of the booster box, so Pretty okay. Let's go again. Cacnea. I see, you see that glitter in the back, but it's probably just a fucking hollow because those are guaranteed. Marie, not too bad. I need that for a specific set. Zangoose, Stone Journer, Penny, Reverse, Saviper, and in the back, we got Cloth the Crab. All right, from now on, I'm not gonna let not a good pull affect my mood. I will be positive Andy. Um, and hope that I pull some good stuff or be happy with what I get. Because you know, in the end, it's not about the cards you pull. It's about the happiness that comes along with the session. I don't fucking know what 
how I'm saying. Dude, just give me a good pull, please. Sandile, Mareep, Silicobra, Fisharp, not Arvin, okay. Cacturn, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I'm happy, I'm pretty happy with what I got. Honestly, honest to God, I'm very happy with what I got. Um, yes, yes, this is exactly what I wanted. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Let's pull from the back of the booster box. Another pack. Let's give this, let's give this little guy a, a shot. Okay, this, you're gonna be a good card, right? Maybe even this one, this card too, you could be a good card as well. No, uh, no rush. Oh, I just, okay. You just saw the code, unlucky. Um, but maybe that's good luck. Me showing the video the code is a good, um, is a good choice. Because surely, the reason why I did that is because, yes, okay. It worked, it worked. Super, okay, not exactly the card I wanted, not exactly the, the hyper rare or the super rare I wanted, but I can't complain. Hyper rare card, gold card, right on the EX. Not the most expensive card in the set, not the most, um, not the best card in the game, for the meta at least, but it's something. Hey, it's something, I can't complain. Hyper rare, and in the back, oh, I didn't even, Oh, what the, I'd even put the fucking energy in the back. That's my fault. Hey, got the duck, got the Coridon EX. Let's let's keep let's keep that going. Maybe I should show you the code cards more often. Cause hey, it helped. It helped. It's yo, it was me rubbing the card. Wait, I in the end I didn't even rub that card though. Because the energy was in the back. So I didn't even rub this card. It's funny because me and my friend who also collects Pokemon cards also pulled this card. So we have very similar pulls in Retrospect, so let's go ahead and keep these good pulls going. Thank you, Pokemon. I appreciate it's the see, it's the it's the um it's the attitude change halfway through. I told myself I'm gonna be positive and it rewarded me with a good pull. So I'm gonna continue to keep that same positivity going. Hey, I got a good pull. If you don't want me to if you don't want to give me a good pull this pack, I completely understand. We can space it out and Maybe next pack we'll get something good too? Who knows, you know? Okay, no problem, that's fine. I'm going to pull this pack right here, this Gyarados. You know what? It's a good pack, I know it. I gave it a nice little smack. If I can open this pack, there you go. Now, the reason why I opened those, the pack this way is just because whenever I try to rip it from like, you know, its usual tear spot, it just doesn't work. I don't know why. So I just tear, you know, the asshole open and usually it works. So I'm just gonna continue doing it like that. Pomo, Flamigo, really ran out of ideas for this Pokemon, huh? Fortress, got the Rocky Helmet. In the back, we got a Growlithe. In the second back, we got our Bolivar. And in the very back, we got Houndstoon. Yo, not a problem. Not a problem at all. Completely understand. Oh, there you go. There, I got the tear good. I got the tear good in that pack. Not too shabby. Spupa, Metatite, Energy Search, Grimer, Dunkster. Oh, that card fell, Jack. Maridon. Wow. So that pack is pretty disappointing. We got Jack, though. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna be a little bit negative now, but it's not even me not getting any pulls. I'm not even getting any good cards for the actual game, which is pretty funny. Hey, fuck your collection and fuck your, your deck building. That's what they're saying to me. They're trying to just buy me, make me buy more. You think with all the money they make, with all the Pokemon cards they sell, they would at least try to fix their game. But realistically, I haven't even touched the game since release, so I don't even know if they fixed it yet. Water penis, uh, jellyfish that walks on land, small, sad crocodile. Dude, this guy's angry. We got the, we got the fish. We got the pepper. We got the Torkoal. We got some spew. Oh, there you go. Okay. We got an Illustrator Rare Sco Scoville Scovillain. Scovillain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scovillain. He's uh, sitting at a nice little table. Illustrator Rare. This is a pretty cool card. I uh, I did see this before opening, but I did not pull this in the Japanese box. So seeing this firsthand is pretty cool. Uh, nice, nice art. I will say though, um, they definitely did step up their art game compared to early, like later sets in Sword and Shield. Yeah, just the art in general 
looks a lot better. The it looks like they put a lot more work into the illustrator rares or the alternate arts per se. And uh, two out of two out of one ninety eight. So can't complain. Pretty cool. We'll add that to the hits. I don't even know how many we've gone through yet. So um, we were patient. Was that was that the hit where I tapped the back of the booster pack? I actually have no idea. Hey, if it was, it worked, and I can't complain about that. All right, let's keep this going. Another pack. One to the front. Energy, Varum, Clauncher, Skidoo, Quaxley, Vivalon, Dash Bun, Torkoal, Slowpoke, Sprigatito, and nothing. Whole lot of, whole lot of, a lot of nothing dude I haven't even pulled a fucking nest ball a nest ball is something I need um, for the metagame and I don't even think I pulled that trainer which is pretty crazy to me considering the amount of packs I've opened that that's our first rare candy I did not even pulled that yet either which is a uh, very amu oh I think I see something in the back unless I'm getting I'm unless it's just another hollow but it looks different I think so yes I was right okay Benetti X, not the X I wanted again, but you'll ta I'll take what I can get. I really hope the ride on the X is here somewhere because so you can you can kind of tell when you pull something in the back. It's different than the hollow, the guaranteed hollow rare. Give you another look at the Benetti X. Yeah, the ugh. okay. Not to sound like yo Japanese cards. Oh my God, Japanese cards are so much better than English cards. But realistically, Japanese cards actually do look better than English cards because the saturation on these EX cards are just so low for some reason. I don't know why, it's just, it's way less colorful than what I saw before. And it's, you know, it makes sense because, I mean, North America has always been pretty shit, or just the uh, the American cards always been pretty shit compared to Japanese, and it's been a fact. And I'm pretty sure with this new set, they started upping the quality control you can tell with the silver borders to try to you know be somewhat similar to the japanese cards but in reality it's not really doing that and a little bit disappointing it's better than getting the absolute terrible centering cards and quality from the previous sets but still not the best okay is that i see something in the back i don't know if that's a hollow rare we'll see energy switch um villain and okay there's a whole over let's go ahead and open another pack i want to say we're roughly halfway through the booster park back but we're roughly through the booster box we're roughly halfway through the booster it's it's the lack of pulls that i'm getting that's making me not be able to speak english that's what i'm going to use as an excuse um if they gave me more pulls i would be way better at speaking but look at this because i didn't get anything it's just going downhill i think in terms of the competitive play you know, if I were to get somewhat better at the game and be a little bit more consistent with how I play and everything like that, I would definitely be more interested in, you know, a little bit of traveling, trying to go to a regional, trying to do well um, in terms of uh, playing the actual game, playing the actual card game. I think realistically, you just need more practice when it comes to this kind of stuff. So, you know, as I continue to play more locals, just playing them, getting more familiar with, uh, stuff like that hey it could be a, it could be a new thing for me so opening packs definitely not going the best but maybe this is the start to um getting better at the game who knows got a judge got a halucha not a bad card to have either are you fucking kidding me fuck you oh are you kidding me hello what is this okay so if you watch my ETB video. I literally pulled these two cards. This one is just a full art. I don't care about this card anymore. I don't even use you. Oh my god, this is so sad. Okay, so in terms of rarity, this is a super rare, I want to say, and this is an illustrator rare. So these two are fairly rare cards, and the fact that I pulled the exact same cards, I, I, I'm gonna sell one of them. Fuck you. And I was being positive in the early. I was being super positive in the beginning of this booster box. And you just slap me in the face. What the fuck is this? Okay. No, now, now it's going to curse me. I take that back. I take everything I said back. I'm very happy with these two cards. Thank you very much. I will not be selling any of those. 
um let's keep the good vibes going shall we in the end those were hits though it could have been worse it could have been the fucking two reverse and one hollow i just wish it was something different that's all i'm saying it could have been it could have been something better okay this is the first message goes that we've got defiance band i'm gonna defy the laws of pokemon and get something good right now i missed fido not now oh there we go there we this is the card i wanted baby this is the card i needed fuck you iron trezzy x this solos you this solos you okay we got one of these this is what i wanted um obviously not super rare it's the exact it's actually less rare than this which is crazy because this is just like an ultra rare but this is the card i needed so fuck you so i was a little bit negative but i ended up getting the pull i wanted so maybe it cancels out um like a plus and a minus equals nothing or something i don't know i'm in graph design but we ended up pulling both the um both the boys this guy in the hyper rare format and this guy in the ultra rare maybe there's another card somewhere uh, later down the line that is a little bit worth more um but hey not too bad so far we got one two three four five six seven pulls not too shabby i'd say uh we're definitely okay i uh, now i believe we're halfway through the booster box i think i think a little uh, before i was straight up lying to your face so hey if um if it goes downhill downhill from now on we may have to um hold some cards hostage i don't think i've ever done that in a video but i definitely did that in the japanese opening where if i didn't get a pull i would hold the card hostage and if i didn't get anything i just rip it in half right on camera definitely not the nicest thing to do your to your cards but when you're not giving me you know what i want hey you get the fucking rip man oh this i didn't even know this comes in a reverse reverse hollow so you get two different options so pretty cool this is a very cool card to have so if you pull this in your own sets um this is going to be worth more than your regular um regular rare cards so just keep that in mind same thing with some trainers that's also one of the reasons why knowing the card game can be beneficial to you when you're opening cards for collecting because some cards you think they're not going to be worth as much because it's uh it's not a fucking rare card or anything like that but in reality they could be worth you know two dollars which realistically oh two dollars that's fucking nothing but when a when a regular common card is like five cents it's a pretty big difference so just like trading into your local card store when you don't care about the game it could be worth something so just keep that in mind i'm spreading some nice information as a um aspiring pokemon tcg player there you go that's what i'm trying to say dondonzo with the fish in his mouth about to eat his ass we're pulling from the back of the box maybe it's because i didn't mix up the order usually i just pull it straight from the actual box itself um but hey that's why i usually open up packs anyways and i do remember the last booster box i opened as i said in was lost origins and the cards were definitely not the best as i was pulling i remember pulling with um my girlfriend kez and it just it was just not a good not a good opening but by the end i pulled like um the pikachu v max trainer gallery car and i was just instantly my happiness was my happiness was was changed there we go what that took so long dude you're a fucking trainer why is it so hard to pull you next pack i'm not i'm not even gonna count how many packs i have left because i don't want me to start decreasing the number each time it's gonna make me more sad that this booster box is almost done oh my god that was actually embarrassing i'm cutting that part out of the video but it legit took me a good 20 seconds to open this fucking pack holy shit that was wild one in the front. My back's getting tired from sitting up and recording this video. Energy retrieval, Lechonk, Lucario. I'm. I feel. Okay. I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take um a guess. This pack's gonna be shit, but the next pack's gonna be good. Watch. Wow. I was right. Okay. Shit pack. This is gonna be the good pack. This Gyarados. If I'm correct, dude, I am a guessing god. Okay. Good pack time. One. Go card. Um, oh, I see a fucking shit card in the back. Just a hollow rare. Hopefully something is going to be the illustrator rare. I really hope. Please. I actually didn't get any illustrator rares. Barely any so far. 
Wow, so I was wrong. See, maybe, maybe it's the fact that the next pack is gonna be the good pack. Surely, right? Surely. Surely, surely, surely. I'm not even saying anything. Actually, I just said something. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'm gonna start. Dude, I'm gonna cry on camera. Will they? Will they give me something then? If I start crying, I uh, remember how I said it's just downhill from here. It's literally been downhill from the fucking since I'm a ride on the X. What a joke. What a sick joke this is. I can see that like we're we're in the single digits of the booster packs now left. Just have like a, a rough estimate. Getting pretty getting pretty upsetting. This isn't looking too good, guys. This is a card I needed. Fun fact. Cacturn. Energy search. Coridon. Oh my god. This is so sad. Should I, should I open up two packs at a time? No, I'll do three packs. And we'll put the rares in the back. How many how many packs? Okay, if I do three packs at a time. Oh, we're definitely running low, guys. Okay. How many packs do I have left in total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I have I had 11 packs in total. I'm gonna open up these three. I'm gonna take the two rares from the back and then shuffle it into like a big gigantic pack that we can go. I, I think I had a name for this. I'm pretty sure I called it like the, the Doze Variety Mega Pack. I don't fucking remember what I called it. Um, but I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put, open up three packs, take the rare in the back and then We'll open it live. It is something um, Max Mofa does. So I'm gonna do something a little similar and replicate it. So these are the two rares. I'm gonna put that here. You'll see that there. And the cards here, nothing crazy. I'm gonna ignore the fucking assortment for this for now. Code card, one to the front. Take the two out, put there, go through this. Beach court, Kate. Oh, I don't even know that's a card. Set the bulk down on the side because no one cares. Open up the last three or the last part of the three. That one to the front. Take the two rares. Open this up. A picnic basket and a double hypno. And I'm pretty sure this guy's a fucking predator. That's not a good thing. That's not a good sign. I mean, all right, we're gonna flip these over. Let's see if we got anything good from those three packs. Hopefully it saves some time in this video. Okay, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Wow, so those three packs saved us some time for sure because I would have just been depressed every single time I opened up that. This is so sad. Okay, now we actually have eight packs left. Let's open these up one by one. How long is this video so far? Holy shit, this is getting long. Okay, speed run, no more, no more crying. In the end, it's just cardboard, but cardboard that I paid money for, so which makes it a lot more worse, in my opinion. Uh, nothing. Not even some EX Pokemon you can give me, huh? You couldn't even give me a little bit of some EX cards? Really? Water penis, dog, dog again. Chest plate rock, sheep, Rotom. Weasel, Annihilate, wow, man, just wow. Okay, really quick, I'm gonna fix up um, the order of this all, because this is a disaster. Six packs, let's hope that we get some nice, some better pulls, because if not, I'm boycotting Pokemon, that's a lie. I'll continue buying and spending all my money on your stuff. Did I put a card to the front? No, I didn't, I put that code card to the front. Okay, there you go, Scatterbug. Shop it. Sprigatito. Houndor. EXP share. That's cool. Bike lizard. Drip limb. I see something in the back. That's not, doesn't look like a hollow. It has something. It has a, it has a nice little. Oh my God. Well, we got your fucking brother. Dude, why do you, why does it keep giving me these guys, man? Like Don, I, a Don fan's cool or whatever. Like the Don fan that it's based off. Of, it's, it's nice. It's great. But at the same time, like, I don't really care that much about you guys. I'm gonna be real with you. I'd rather have someone else. In all honesty, you're not cutting it for me. It's kind of sad. 
and it's not something you want to hear, but in the end, hey, that's my true feelings. Fifth pack. Surely this is, hey, in the last Origins booster box I opened, this is when I think it started getting good, I believe. So, if, the, if we can replicate that feeling, so I can boost my serotonin levels while opening this. Because right now it's uh, below standard, I'd say. Look at that, he's, this is me right now. Crocodile, he's sat, well he's on the beach. I'm not, I'm definitely not on the fucking beach. Um, oh my God, what is up with these fucking, okay. Hey, we got a hit, can't complain. Professor's Research, very cool card. Um, another Seeker Rare, another Full Art Trainer. I can't complain, but we're getting the fucking Full Art Trainers that aren't the big hitters in this set. Uh, what am I, I'm complaining, I'm complaining too much. Thank you, thank you for this hit. Uh, this is a ver very cool card. It's actually something I'm going to top load because it's a Fuller Trainer. Professor's Research. And Professor's Research it, eh, Professor Professor's Research is a playable card in the meta. Um, so definitely has some good value to it, I think. Very nice. Professor's Research. Very cool card. So, so far we got two big hitters, I'd say. Uh, we got the Hyper Rare Karate EX and the Hyper Rare Professor's Research um, in this booster box, and then just a few other EX cards as well, plus his, fu plus his full art. Um, realistically, I should probably top load this too, because I don't have this, but I will keep it like this for now. I'm surprised we haven't really gotten too many Illustrator Rares. Why did he even sleeve this guy? I'm sorry, Great Tusk. Wow, that is my apology. I didn't even sleeve you. There you go, nice and protected. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, we didn't really get too many illustrators rares. We only really got these two so far. The rest were just kind of EX and some other, some other rare cards. But let's see what we can pull in the last few, few packs. I think we have four more now. Another pack. Thirty-two packs later. Thirty-two? Yeah, thirty-two packs later. Let's see what we got going on for these last little bit. Pokemon Catcher, Clauncher, Crocolore, Florges, Muck, Grievard, Cetadile, and Moridon. Let's open up Coridon, because your ETB was by far the worst in the last video. Let's go see what you have in store for us, shall we? Wow, three more packs, guys. This is so sad. I've been I've been looking forward to this set for like two months. And the fact that this opening is almost done. It's a little depressing, in my opinion. There you go, another Nest Ball. We only got two so far out of the like 54 packs we've opened. Um, okay, another Illustrator Rare that we don't have. Not, I will take that. I will take this more than the fucking Iron Treads full art we got earlier. Very cool. Um, they look like they're climbing some rocks and uh, they're having fun. Nothing better than that. And a Donzo in the end. Some cloth action. There we go, pretty cool. And then let's go ahead and open the last two packs. We're going to save Gyarados for last. Wait, let's see. Let's see if I can sense any difference between the two. I'm going to save Gyarados for last. Yeah, let's do that. White code card. One to the front. Oh, flip over. Drifloom, Satadile, Varum. I don't feel too confident about this, guys. This, this pack, at least. A little shaky. I just, I just don't feel, I just don't feel, you know? The other packs I kind of felt, this one, not too much. Bruxis in the back, it's a rip room, I was right. I was really hoping to jinx myself because I would have been happy with that too. But well, you can't really do too much when nothing like that happens. And the last pack of the opening. Damn, we've come so far. We've come so far in terms of opening Pokemon cards and now we are on the last pack of everything. Code card, one to the front. Let's see if we can end it off with a bang. Hopefully, we can do it. Let's take a swim slow. I've been going pretty fast. Energy switch, some cum, Florgis, Greedent, Reverse Hollow Magikarp with the nice water cobblestone pattern. Behind it is a drowsy, looks like it's just yawning by the temple in the desert. And in the back, oh, are you? Okay. Is this some, is this a joke? Am I being pranked? Okay. 
Well, we ended up hitting on the last fucking pack, but not the... Dude, I cannot. I can't. I can't. Dude, I fucking can't. What is this shit? Why? Why do you like me? I don't like you. What is this? Did I? Okay. These are all from the same booster box. From the same one. The same one. And then the other ETBs. I got the other Iron Treads. Are you... My God, you could have been any other full art, any other full art, and it would be, I would be happy. But it was you, it was you, Great Tusk. You know what? There's no other packs to open, so I don't, I don't even have to deposit anymore. Fuck you. I ended up getting a decent amount of pulls. I know I'm being toxic as like a little joke, but in the end, we got, we, we got some pretty decent pulls. We got three Illustrator rares: Scoville, Pachirisu, and Clough. We got four EX cards: Banette, Spydobs, Maridon, Great Tusk, and I was very happy I'm pulling the Maridon because it's the one I really wanted. And then we got two full arts, the Iron Treads and the Great Tusk. And then for our very big hitters, we got the Koridon EX and Professor's Research full art. So very cool. I think one of the reasons I was looking for more is because Crown Zenith was super stacked. It was, you know, very big hit probability. So coming into this, another, a whole new set, the base set as well. It was a very different story. And I feel like that's the reason why I was, you know, oh fuck, why am I not getting that many hits? But not too bad very decent and i cannot complain in the end so uh thanks for watching i hope to see you i have no idea when um maybe paldea ball which is releasing in june or if i do some way um buy something else i'll try to record that one but yeah thanks for watching bye